Welcome back to another one of my videos. In this video we will reassemble this vintage automatic chronograph from Seiko, the 7138-0040, also called Bullhead. As you can see, the main plate is already um, on the holder with some parts. Uh, I just installed out of the camera because um, Unfortunately, I noticed uh, a little bit too late that the camera was not rolling uh, the cannon pin in here. So, um, the next one to, to be installed is the, hour, uh, the minute wheel. Sorry. The posts have already been uh, lubricated off camera. After the minute wheel, we have the uh, intermediate date wheel and the hour wheel so before goes in the hour wheel and then the intermediate date wheel which is this very thin linsey and plasticky wheel here It tends to grab dust everywhere. Okay. There you go. And let's check for the moment. Perfect. Now the intermediate, after the intermediate date wheel goes the hour recording wheel. And there it goes here. The hole has been already lubricated, so don't worry. And now the hour wheel stop lever. There you go. And the hour recording will stop lever. There you go. And now the spring for our recording wheel stop lever. Just this very springy, flimsy. In order not to fly away, I will hold it down with Rodico. Shaping the Rodico. Right. you go. And now the hour hammer and the hour flyback lever or lever That's the 
LR hammer and that's the lever or lever. I hope you are seeing what I am doing. And now the power hammer spring. Which is a very thin spring. And as you see, it tends to jump off really, really easily. There you go. Nice blow. So the spring is out of the way. Now we have Finally, the calendar plate. That will cover all of this. Removing the dust particles with a cylinder of radical, making it roller. On top of it, sorry if I sound a little bit too low. So the calendar plate will go like so. And to mount it I need to remove three screws. One two three 